What's up everyone, it's Roger and Victoria here from the Disney Kingdom podcast. In this episode we're going to be talking about all the things that were announced from the Disneyland point of view of the D23 Expo at the um, park's sort of panel. So what were you surprised with in kind of from the, D- from the Disneyland point of view? Um, the main thing that surprised me is the Pixar Fest and the Pixar Pier news. It kind of threw me for a loop just because I really don't know what direction you're trying to go with California Adventure now. Mm-hmm. Also, just, you know, the switching of parades to different parks. It, I don't know, I'm a little confused. Yeah, I mean, I felt like sort of having the Paint, paint the Night Parade back there at California. I mean, I mean, in some ways it makes sense maybe to have two different parades because it will keep people in both parks. Um, so I thought that was cool. The, the pier thing kind of came out of nowhere. I think no, most of the other things from the D23 Expo, most of it has been rumoured. Most of it have been, that kind of, I think, definitely came out of nowhere. A lot of people are like, um, not so happy that it's been sort of changed. Um, again, it's a situation of, and while I have been to Disneyland a few times, um, California Adventure was one of those attractions that, um, you know, we never went to because, you know, you had limited time in LA. And it was, when I went, it was not considered to be a major place to go to. So it is odd, I think, people like that California side of things and how historical it is, but changing into Pixar is just kind of, again, the same thing of just sort of Disney-fying everything. Oh, no, I agree. I, I mean, I've only mostly seen the Disneyland locals get a little upset, which is understandable. Um, I feel like they're trying to integrate Pixar more into the parks, which we've definitely noticed with mm. the parks panel. Um is this the best way to do it? I'm not entirely sure, but yeah, no. Um, I also, I mean, they've also sort of said that they're working on some new um, Marvel attractions, and I think Spider Man and Captain America kind of things, um, which makes a lot of sense. They didn't really go too much into detail on that. Um, kind of again, that might just be stuff that they will announce maybe a year from now, because that's, that's the thing with D23. It's kind of every two years. Yeah, um, they really didn't. I guess they're still in development for that one. As far as I mean. That we that was news we definitely saw coming anyway, so it wasn't mm. too much of a shock to all of us. No, I mean it was also. I mean, just looking here at some of the information as well. Um, obviously, Star Wars Land is opening up first in Disneyland, um, which doesn't surprise me since that seems they're definitely pushing forward for that, and I, that's definitely going to be the 2019. It's almost like maybe 2019 is going to be Disneyland, and then late 2019 Disney World because um, that seems to be the way it's going but yeah it's um the, it's that odd thing i didn't they were sort of talking a lot about it they obviously gave us that that little like um model that we could see that, and it sort of showed it all off and it looks great and we saw the the car that sort of the first order thing that everyone sits in but i almost sit for, well, felt a little bit like and obviously the name was it Gal- galaxy's edge is going to be the name yeah. of that area which it's still gonna be Star Wars land. I'm sorry, it'll just be Star Wars. <laughs> it, it, it's true. It's you, true. I mean, just like Pandora's Avatar World or Land or whatever they call it, it's it's still gonna be Star Wars land. Yeah. Um, it kind of left a little bit on there going. Well, they kind of they've said a lot, but nothing. No, I agree. I agree. I mean, we got more so extra detail into what we already knew, which I appreciate. I appreciate the concept art, but then I'm kind of like. Mm. You could have gave me a little bit more new information. Yeah, it definitely, um, it definitely felt like Disney World got a lot more um, of the love, which we'll talk about in other episodes. Um, but I think the trouble is with Disney and obviously the space, and it, a lot of it got done up for the fiftieth. Um, so it does make sense of why you know they might not need as much there at the minute. And Star Wars Land is going to be massive. Oh, absolutely. Oh, and we can't forget about Cars Land. Can't oh, yeah. Forget the, about, yeah. Can't forget yeah. about that. Yeah, yeah, like I did. Um, the, the Halloween um, sort of over overture kind of coming in, which makes sense in some yeah, ways. Yeah, I, I think it's cute. I think it's cute. Yeah, I kind of was sitting there going, <laughs> I was like, but it's not a single bit of Halloween stuff for cars. And it wasn't the first <laughs> thing that jumped to mind of like Halloween. It was like, what, why would a car, why, it didn't really, I can understand overlaying the whole you know dca i can understand that thing and get, but i was a little bit like cars really why would they be celebrating halloween over anything I'm else so, yeah. i'm still kind of confused on how they're going to put them in costumes like they yeah. said they're going to put them in halloween costumes and i'm just like how <laughs> yeah and i was like you know you can't really have a, a car with blood all over it because that's not <laughs> um yeah i don't know it's like you're gonna have 
I'm sure there's going to be like Count Mater or something like that. You know, you can just sort of see something like that. Yeah, probably. Um, again, it just, if, I know, because I mean, I think both of us were both watching by the periscope of what was going on from from the event and stuff. Um, and again, it, it, it definitely felt like they had a few little things to announce for Disneyland, but it was never, never anything. It was, there was no big A ticket attractions, nothing. I think maybe because they just had the Gal- Guardians of the Galaxy and Star Wars land, that's kind of their main bit at the minute. Yeah, and you know, they soft open Fantasmic last night too, and I feel like they should have saved that, to be honest. Mm. But, you know, it is what it is. Yeah. Everyone loved it from what I heard. Yeah, I mean, the event, by the sounds of it, sounds like it was very, very busy, very, very packed. Um, it was kind of odd, because I think, like, watching it from at home, you sort of... It's like, it felt like it took a while to get going, because there was a lot of, like, just fluff, and, you know, you know some of the videos and stuff of, like, you know... They're very, very super sick, that Disney kind of thing. Thankfully, we don't tend to get that. We don't, you know, those adverts don't tend to happen over here because the Brits don't get affected by it the same way. Um, <laughs> it was a little bit like, okay, just get on with it. It's like you've, you've got thousands of people there um, in attendance that are already Disney, major Disney fans. You know, you didn't, why? I don't know, it was just a bit odd. I thought it was a really weird opening. Yeah, I mean... I feel like they could have filled it in with just a lot more information, like, you know, with more Epcot changes, or maybe they weren't ready to announce mm. any of that, but that's a whole other podcast. Yeah, so. yeah. Um, it's just as a whole, it just, again, it just felt a little bit like, why are you live streaming this? It felt a bit like, if you're going to block everyone from, they weren't blocking people from streaming, people could record, they could film it, it was, and Disney would like live blogging, it was a little bit like... Especially as well, because I just watched, like an hour before, I just watched the video game, which was like the only major panel, which thankfully, luckily for me, was the major one I, I was personally interested in. But, it, you know, being able to watch it on big screen in, you know, HD, great, you know. it And then, so then I'm sat there, like, listening to a Periscope phone, and I'm like, oh, well, it, it, it would have been good. But that's a whole other issue. But, like I said, Disneyland definitely felt like it got some nice stuff but nothing groundbreaking because star wars land it still feels like it's too early for them to give us too much information yeah i believe so i I mean i feel like as the year goes on we'll get more information for sure but i just feel like we just got you know reintroduced to it maybe some new concept art but i mean it could have gave me a little more i feel yeah yeah, it's def- definitely an odd one. But we'd love to know what you guys thought of what was announced at the D23 Expo from the theme park. From the from all of the Disneyland's um, point of view, we'd love to know your thoughts. Comment below or get in touch with us on social media. Um, Victoria, where can they find you? They can find me on Twitter at he calls me PP and Instagram he calls me Pineapple Christmas. Okay, and that, guys, remember to check us out over at disgaming.com and diskingdom.com. And also, we'd like to see hit that subscribe button. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. See you guys soon. Laters. Bye.